Hello, Potato. So, as you know on this channel, I do occasionally open up loot crates. But I usually like to wait until there's a couple things to open. And as you also know, Loot Crate is marvelously behind. In that, I think in the last video I opened in um, November, uh, the one that came out, I think, on Black Friday, was for September. So, we've got a couple more Loot Crates to open that have arrived since then. We have this one, which arrived in about three weeks after that, so middle of December. And this one is the October Crate. Which, you know, that makes sense, right? But then, on December the 29th, so near the end of the year there, came another Loot Crate. Much plainer Loot Crate. Uh, Doesn't even actually say Loot Crate on it anywhere except for on the sticker. But the thing that was weird about it is that it is for August. It's the August Crate, which I want to say, I think I said before, that's a sentence that makes sense. I believe I said before that I thought they had skipped the August Crate because that was when they were going through all the bankruptcy stuff. But apparently they didn't. Apparently it just came out two boxes after the uh, July crate. So let's uh, let's see what they're billing me for in this August one. This very loose feeling because it's not it's not even a loot crate box. It's just a plain black box with a loot crate label on it. So let's see what we get for August. I'm guessing it's gonna be repackaged stuff with no theme. Yep, there's no pattern inside of the box. And we have a Power Rangers Dino Megazord. Master of the Universe. Let's just keep the whole thing out and get the box out of the way. Boxes. Not even anything to look at. Look at that. Look at that. There's nothing to look at there. <whistles> nothing. Let's get rid of that. So we have a Power Rangers Dino Megazord. Some Star Trek cardboard coasters. I'm guessing the theme is crap we had in the warehouse. Got a Jurassic Park poster. Or Jurassic World poster, I'm sure. We don't call it Jurassic Park anymore, do we? Um, yeah, that's, that's not, not bad. That's also too big to really show up in frame here, I think. Yeah, it says it's a Loot Crate exclusive. I'm sure there are people just, just dying to get posters of Raptors that couldn't do it because Loot Crate got this one. That'll go back in a box. Questions? Chat with our friendly customer support team. All right. Question is, what is this? We have a She-Ra pin. That's kind of nice. I'm not super into the new She-Ra. I did actually, I had Shiro when I was a kid. I had like the Snake Mountain playset and the Evil Horde. And I never had an issue with Shiro. I never viewed Shiro as being like the cash grab for girls that she really was. I just viewed her as being a spin-off of He-Man. Of course, I'm sure I wouldn't have called her a spin-off back then, but an extension of maybe. I probably wouldn't use that word either. We've got... So here's our heel. It's upside down. Probably help to put the shirt right side up so we can get a good look at the design here. All right. Is that. So looks so like we have a Battle Cat's helmet. What was his name? Eros? The, the bird guy. He had like a cloud name, didn't he? We have, I guess, like the Crest of Grayskull, He-Man Sword, Crossed. I don't know, that's a, that's a competent shirt, isn't it? It's not... I mean, seven-year-old me would have loved this shirt. Seven-year-old me wouldn't have fit in this shirt. But seven-year-old me could have worn it like a night shirt or something. 
Yeah, the seven-year-old me really likes that. Um, I don't really necessarily associate that so much with She-Ra. I don't, honestly, I don't remember really much about She-Ra other than uh, Snake Mountain was really cool. Snake Mountain wasn't She-Ra, right? It wasn't, or was that the, was that Skeletor's base? I had a play set for She-Ra for the, for the Evil Horde. But now that I think about it, I think Snake Mountain was Skeletor's, wasn't it? The Evil Horde had their own little play set. I didn't have Shira's castle though. I had Grayskull, but I didn't have Shira's castle. All right, let's look at our Dino Megazord. Where did I put my air? my cutter. These things are usually both cute and utterly pointless. And yeah, that's cute. I was never super into Power Rangers. I mean, they came out when I was in like junior high. So, I mean, they kinda, they kinda missed me. Also, they were on like at 2.30 in the afternoon and school let out at like 2.30 in the afternoon. So I almost never got to actually see them anyways. They were always over before I got home. It was like three o'clock when I'd get home. Uh, I mentioned, I think before that I was gonna use that little uh, Brotherhood of Steel guy. And I did. He did, he did not just go back in the box. See, there he is. He is in here for now until something better comes along to replace him. All right, well, let's pop it out of the plastic. We might as well. How long time it'll ever be out of that plastic? Oh, it's not posable at all. I kind of thought maybe I could stick him out so his sort of hold up. Is that the wrong hand? Does it go in this hand? Does it go in either hand? Oh, there we go. There we go. I may have to keep him out of the box now because that may not come out of his hand. There we go. There's the August 2019 crate. Only four months late. All right, let's jump ahead in time to catch up with where we were after the last crate, which is our October crate. And again, I don't remember, I don't, I don't know if they even promote what themes these are anymore because they're so far behind. If it's Halloween themed, it's woefully out of date. Because we are looking the new year now. Maybe it's for next Halloween. Let's be generous and say it's for next Halloween. And yeah, it's Halloween themed. It's a vampire hunter kit, high stakes, waka waka hunting. So what do we get in our horror themed loot crate that showed up in almost January? Uh, looks like we're gonna be a little lazy here again. We've got not one, but two. ah, this is it. This is the Deadpool shirt I've been saying that I thought was coming for like five videos now. This is the Deadpool shirt. Oh, hi, I didn't see you there, says Deadpool. I guess we're kind of doing a thing like from the first movie where he spelled out Francis in, um, in Enemy Bodies. That's cute. I could, I could see myself wearing that to the comic shop or something. I do like me some Deadpool, as you, you may have noticed. There's more Deadpool in here too. You just can't see him in, this, in the camera. Now, I mentioned I thought we were being late. Oh no, this isn't a shirt, is it? This is not a shirt. It's something fabric, but it's not a shirt. It is a very tiny Night of the Living Dead shopping bag. Okay, that's, that's nice. I like that. I mean, Night of the Living Dead is, is a classic, classic horror film. And that is the part where the little girl is about to kill her parents. Adorable. I mean, it's a little small to be useful. This is probably good for trick-or-treating if you're going as a zombie or something. That's not bad, I like that. I like that better than I thought I was going to. What else do we have in here? Let's look at the pin, what's the pin, what's the pin, what's the pin? The pin is Nosferatu. That's nice, I mean, his body is on the backing, meaning if you take it off of there, it's not gonna, not gonna quite have the same effect, but I guess you could pin that up onto something with that backing on. That's nice. Uh, not a license per se, not something you had to pay for. Then we have something from the Lost Boys. 
We have a giant Lost Boys trading card. I'm, I'm guessing that these were cards that you really could buy at the time the movie came out. Get close up with that without too much glare. This is apparently card number one. Sorry to brother you. Um, Lost Boys and all related characters and elements are copyright and trademark Warner Brothers Entertainment, including the WB Shield. Copyright and trademark WBEIS19 Loop Crate Incorporated. And on the back we have a fun fact. The town of Santa Cruz isn't Yes, it is. The town of Santa Carla isn't real. The movie was actually filmed in and around Santa Cruz, California. The town's iconic boardwalk provided the backdrop for several scenes. I've been to the Santa Cruz Beach Boardwalk. I don't remember it being in the movie, but I'm not actually 100% sure now that I think about it that I've ever watched the movie all the way through. I know, that hurts my geek cred, doesn't it? And then we have a Dracula pencil sharpener. Let me guess before we... Get this out of here. It's going to be a pencil sharpener where you put the pencil into Dracula's chest to sharpen it like a steak. Am I right? Am I right? Am I right? I, of course I am right. Pop you out of there. Oh, it looks like it actually has a lid. You can close him up, I guess, when he's not in use. Hey! It's a little coffin, and you pop it open. To surprise Dracula, you pop it open. You get your fingernail up there and you you pop it open. No, you don't. Come on. Oh, those are the pencil shavings come out. Obviously, putting the lid on this was a mistake. There we go. And yep, you just plunge your pencil stake right into his chest there. And he goes, ah, what are you doing? I'm trying to sleep. And that's October. And not a, not a lot of stuff in there, is there? But, I mean, I'm going to say it's better quality than that, uh, that August, just the crap we had lying around the warehouse crate. I like the bag. I like me some Deadpool. So I like the Deadpool shirt. The card is cute if I was really into Lost Boys, or if I knew somebody who was really into Lost Boys. Oh, there's more, there's more than one card in here. Well, let's ruin the collectability and look at them. And... There's three cards. So, sorry to brother you. Which has a little picture of the poster on the back. That's kind of nice. You could frame that if you're really into these. Then we have card number five, a serious case of garlic breath, which has its own fun fact. The pivotal bridge scene was filmed at the historic Iron Horse Trailhead Trestle Bridge in Santa Clarita, California. Built in 1898, the bridge is no longer in use by trains, but now features a pedestrian walkway so fans of the movie can safely cross over it. See, because it looks like they're crossing under it and they don't want you to do that. And then we have card number 12, Blood, it's what for what? Blood, it's what's for dinner. And Kiefer Sutherland as he really looks now without makeup. And that has the Santa Cruz Beach Boardwalk thing on it. All right, so yeah, those are nice. I don't hate those. They're definitely a quality item. I'm just not, not a thing that I'm super into. I like the Nosferatu pin, um, even if he is a kind of public domain sort of a thing. Let me get him without glare. And the pencil sharpener is cute, but not cute enough, I think, to go on the shelf of things. And then back to back to August here. The shirt would have been nice 30 years ago. The Megazord is cute and chunky little thing, but just not not really my thing. The pin's nice. The pins are usually competent things. The coasters would be cool if they weren't made of cardboard. And the posters, while at least not just a blatant ad for it on 4K, like the Gremlins one was, is still just a poster, and I don't really have a lot of wall space in here for stuff. So there we go. Two months worth of loot crates. Another blind box episode. Aren't you glad you tuned in? I know I am. If you did like it, or heck, even if you didn't like it, click the like button. If, uh... 
you're not already subscribed, just click the subscribe button. If you are subscribed, make sure you've rung the little bell so you know every Sunday when I post one of these things. And have a good week, and I will see you in the next one.